Hey guys, this is Haley from WanderingRabbits.com, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my bunny's playtime. Sterling, are you ripping up some paper? So I thought I'd give you a little overlook at their playtime. I do have a lot of X pens around to block off cords and stuff, and anything that could be dangerous to them. So the bunnies mainly stay in this area because that's where the rug is. Sometimes I pull this ottoman off to the side so that it's like. Um, a big large area for them and they really enjoy that. So this is kind of like my living room area and there's just like an exercise bike, a chair, and then some couches. I also have some bunny laundry. I'm in the process of folding. So this is looking from this way. Here is the chair and I really like this setup because of my TV. I'm able to just sit in this chair and watch TV while the bunnies just run around or do their thing. So I also have a couple of things for them to play with out here. I don't have as much as I would like to. I would love to build them one of those nice bunny wooden castles, but that will have to be in the future. So for now I have like this cat thing. Um, this is actually my cat Milo's toy, but I let the bunnies use it when they're running around. Um, and then a tunnel. I've got some carpet squares and some like paper that they can shred. It's just like plain brown paper. Uh, and then coming over here, um, this is actually a pile of dirty laundry, but I always have to keep something here shoved against this X pen. Otherwise, they can crawl behind this way and get over there. So I have to keep something very heavy here. So this is their dirty laundry um, that I have to wash. I'm going to be washing it probably tomorrow. And I just use that to make sure they can't get through the X pen, but they can just come over here and into their pen. So that works super well so that they can still eat hay like they are doing now. <laughs> What are you doing, Goobers? So then I just wrap the X pen around here so that they're not able to get it open. And the reason I have an X pen here is for a couple of reasons. I don't want them to go over by Lulu's pen. We've had issues in the past where they will smell each other through the door and get very worked up and aggressive because they do not like Lulu at all and Lulu does not like them at all. So that's the main reason I don't want them over there. They also have issues with going under these shelves and peeing. Hi, Poo Boys. Do you want some treats? Oh yeah, some good apples. Here, it's right here. Good girl. Oh goodness, you want more. You want more, you greedy little girl. Are you gonna pout? You gonna pout because I know more treats? I don't, I'm not giving you any more treats, Sterling. No matter how many times you look at me. I know. He's not gonna stop staring at me till I give him a treat. <laughs> Sterling, no more. Oh, you got an itch on your nose? Oh, itch that nose. And you walk away. Oh my goodness, are you gonna go back and sleep? I swear my rabbits are so lazy. As you can see, Sterling loves to lay down on either these little rugs or the memory foam mats that I put out for them. And he just loves sleeping there. He's get more comfy. Keeps getting flatter and flatter to the ground. So I went upstairs to eat some dinner and I left this bag of treats on the chair and somebody found them and dragged them all the way over here. It doesn't look like they, they were able to eat any. But dude, I told you no more treats. Yes, I did. And then you took them anyways. These are not for use. No, you, you don't need no more. You don't need no more. Oh, oh, I know. Okay, maybe one more because you're cute. I am going to say that this is very bad parenting to give in to your child when they are begging. But, hey, hey, dude, I got one. Yeah, I, I can't resist that face. Buddy, buddy, no. I, I already gave in once. Yeah. Oh. Oh, no, no, no. Do not take the bag. Oh no, she heard the bag. Now she wants some. Ebony, if I give you one, Sterling's gonna want another one. Here, take this and run. Don't tell Sterling. 
<laughs> he's trying to find the bag again. Because <laughs> I had it on the ottoman. <laughs> he's like, I smell it. I smell the bag. Let's see if we can get him to run. <gasps> Stay me! Come here! <gasps> good boy! Yeah, good boy. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have anything for you. But that was super cute. You are so super cute. Are you mad? Yeah, I didn't give you treats. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna go find them. You gonna go find the treats too, Ebony? Come on, boo-boos. Oh, good boy. Yeah, you're a good boy. He's like, um, no treats, I'm leaving. <laughs> and licking Ebony. Oh, he wants her to lick him. Oh, they are so cute. She's like, okay, now my turn. They like go back and forth. She's like, my turn. She's like, okay. <laughs> He's trying to get her to groom him. She's like, no, groom me. <laughs> she gave it. Oh, her whole head fits in his ear. Oh, look at how sweet. He just waits for her to come back. Hi, Bubbly. She's so sweet, isn't she? Yeah. Oh. Who just wanted her to kiss you and then she walked away? You might notice that there is some poop around. Um, it's mainly from Ebony. She is very territorial and since my bunnies share a playtime area, it does have Lulu's scent on it. And anything that has Lulu's scent on it, Ebony likes to mark. Um, I think Sterling does it a little bit, but it's mainly Ebony. I am the king of the living room. <laughs> That's where he found the treats before, on that little wooden block. I also have an empty applesauce container. I probably should move that because he's gonna try to get into it. Look what I found in the bunny's pen. This is an applesauce container that is empty. They did not get into it. However, there is teeth marks all over the cat. Somebody found it. Yeah? Did you find this? I think you did. Yeah, that is not yours. <laughs> you guys know applesauce is not safe for bunnies there is additives in it so never give your bunnies applesauce even if it's unsweetened but he thinks he needs it don't you yeah you think <laughs> it's not yours i'm really glad this has really thick packaging sterling don't go under the chair <laughs> sterling you don't chew chairs It's little under there, isn't it? All right, so it is actually the next morning because uh, Lulu is more active in the morning, so I wanted to show you her playtime in the morning. So I just opened her door and she is ready to explore. So basically her ramp comes down, she normally like runs around it and then comes out here and then runs all the way out there. So as you guys can probably tell, um, Lulu does hop around a lot slower than Ebony and Sterling would, simply because she is nine and a half years old and she also has arthritis specifically in her toes and I think mainly in her hind legs. So she's the one rabbit I have that doesn't really mind cats. Like she doesn't want them touching her, but like she's not afraid of them. If you guys are wondering what that's called, it's called old lady binkies. That's what I call them. They're like, she doesn't really jump off the ground, but like she flicks her head and runs. Um, it's super cute. That's why I wanted to wait till this morning to film this because she doesn't normally binky at night. Nina, do you want your veggies? There you go. <laughs> you are so hungry. 
So I always feed Lulu out during the playtime every morning and at night, but she loves to eat her kale first, so most likely she'll work on that. <laughs> is that nummy kale? Ooh, yes it is. 